What's up, bitches? This is Silent Rob, and this is a new series that I'm gonna start doing called Unwinnable Games. Games that are just not possible to beat whatsoever, and I'm not talking about games that a lot of people say are unwinnable, like Battletoads or Silver Surfer, okay? Those games are totally winnable. I've even beaten Battletoads. It's fucking possible. Uh, my advice for those games, stop fucking sucking at video games, okay? That's your main problem. Get past that and you'll be okay. But, I'm talking about games that aren't even possible to beat at all. Which brings me to the topic of this video, and that is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now, a lot of people would say that the NES version of this game is completely unwinnable. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles games that came out after this game were far superior, and this game was a very bad misstep. It was too hard, the levels were convoluted, enemies coming out of every fucking angle, don't even get me started on the fucking water level. And if you can even believe it, the game even gets harder after the water level. <laughs> you know, most people haven't even gotten past that fucking part, they're still working on that 20 some years later. So don't even get me started. But this isn't the game I'm talking about, I'm talking about the DOS version of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is a game that a lot of people probably never even heard of. But, for some odd reason, there was a lot of DOS conversions of popular NES games. Um, there was a DOS version of Mega Man that was really fucking awful. And then there's a DOS version of Mega Man 3, which is kind of odd, because there wasn't a DOS version of Mega Man 2. I guess they knew they would fuck it up and they didn't want to tarnish Mega Man 2's good name. But then why did they tarnish 1 and 3? I don't know, man! It makes no sense! But those games fucking suck. Now, nothing is worse than the DOS version of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Holy hell. This game is awful. It's awful in every conceivable way. And I'm not even going to explain to you guys why it's awful. Just, just listen to this. What the fuck is this rubbish? I can't even believe it, man. This this is this sounds worse than fucking listening to fucking fat people having sex, okay? And trust me, nobody wants to fucking hear that or see that. So get this fucking shit out of my face. And normally a game like this would be overlooked as just a shitty game. A, a shitty version of an NES game. And people wouldn't even think twice about it. But, there's a problem with this game. See... You get about to the second or third level in this game, and you come to a jump that is completely impossible to pass. You could try this jump for the rest of your fucking life, you ain't getting past it. Basically making the game unwinnable. The only way to get past this jump is to either glitch out the level, or use codes in order to actually skip levels. Because you ain't getting past this jump. Now, if you look at- if you look at- this is the original jump. Here's the fucked up version. You notice the difference? Okay? You notice how fucked up it is? Yeah, good luck getting past this jump. So if the first couple levels of this game didn't show that this game wasn't playtested at all, then this fucking horse shit right here will. <laughs> 